Blackburn Rovers are in fact unchanged, although those of you with programmes you may have ordered in advance from the club might like to make a switch at number four because David Hamilton continues there in place of Simon Barker, who is recovering from a broken toe. They play two wide men, Ian Miller on the right, number seven, and Noel Brotherston, number 11, normally sticks to the left. As for Southampton, that's the side that won at Portsmouth in the last round. Frank Worthington keeping his position at number nine, the man for the big occasion, perhaps. David Puckett has been chosen as substitute, and that Southampton team now has bedded down very well in recent matches. So, a night perhaps for a stalwart. Derek Fazakali has played 550 games and more for Blackburn Rovers. He's the backbone of their defence and the sort of player, Jimmy Hill, around whom a club like this is often built. Indeed, and more than that, he's a wonderful defender who makes the penalty area unpleasant to penetrate. I think the first duty and responsibility of a defender is to be not really pleasant to play against. Tough, hard, uncompromising, and wanting to win the ball. And alongside him, he has Glenn Keeley, of course, also as experienced. He's been around with uh, Ipswich and Newcastle. Uh, once recognised as a hard man, but a, a, a good footballer, but as a defender, he believes, as does Fazakali, in getting to the ball first. And I don't think we'll see either of those letting balls cross their penalty area as we saw when Spurs played against Manchester United. Quite a strong backbone. Right, the goalkeeper, Terry Geno, also experienced. He's had seven clubs and 11 different managers. He should know what team talks about, if anybody does. He played in a League Cup final, uh, Southampton against Not Nottingham Forest, coming, of course, from Southampton, his last club. It's interesting, the techniques of goalkeeping have probably improved more than any other position, and so experience is absolutely vital. 30 years of age. And at the other end, a man at 34 who's had even longer to learn. And like Torville and Dean, an Olympic champion. If they had a Winter Olympics for goalkeepers, I don't think there's much doubt about who'd get the gold medal. If I could find a fort in him, perhaps uh, unlike Grobelar, he's not the quickest to leave his line at times. That's the other end of the spectrum, and he punches away sometimes when other goalkeepers might catch. But in every other way, superb, Peter Shaw. And Blackburn Rovers have in Simon Garner, one of the most consistent scorers outside the first division. He's on 17 so far this season. Simon Garner, whose family come from Boston, and he's sometimes been nicknamed the Lincolnshire Poacher because he does hover in the penalty area to snap up the half chunks. Tonight's referee is Neville Ashley from Nantwich. So the scene is set for this FA Cup fifth round tie. Blackburn Rovers, John Lowey in the picture there. He's a midfield player, so is David Hamilton, number four. They'll be wearing the blue and white halves, Blackburn Rovers. Famous colours down the years. Southampton tonight in the red shirts and black shorts. They will be defending the Darwin end. And away go Rovers with Garner spreading the play immediately. Blackburn unbeaten here in the league this season, although it's which one here in the Milk Cup. Danny Wallace for Southampton. In the middle is Steve Moran going in, and that was an early strike for Moran, who's been in such tremendous form. And Wallace showed in the approach that Southampton mean business. That's a corner. And now we wait to see if the near post corner kick, which Blackburn Rovers did so much to innovate, is going to pay dividends because Keeley and Fazakali will go to the near post area. And Shilton came to meet it himself. David Hamilton with the pass back out to Brotherston. They're still forward. Thompson and Miller are coming in. And hooked in by Thompson. Southampton was stretching to clear. Mark Dennis headed back in by John Lowey. Miller, fouled by Moran. Fazakal is in there again. He came near post with a lovely back flick, and there was a good strike too by Hamilton. And 
Glenn Keeley and Thompson closed in quickly. There was a real tangle of bodies there. I almost thought Keeley might have been shoved on the first header. And Jimmy Hill alongside, and he says, yes, there could have been a point there for debate later. Actually allowing the play to flow. Garner to Brotherston. Miller's trying to get into the box and so is Thompson. And it's going to be a corner. And Wright is up, but it's going to come back again to Brotherston. And it was Keeley with the header. And it was Agbula who beat him to it in the end. The two number fives, but Keeley was close. And they pack the goal mouth again. And Mark Wright comes this time. Back again to Brotherston. Steve Williams doing defensive duty. Moran threatening once again on the break. A good ball by McMills. Three in support for Southampton if he can look round. They're all a long way away though. And he has to go to the line. And Armstrong! David Armstrong gets the touch at the near post from Steve Moran's brilliant run. So Blackburn nil, Southampton won in the FA Cup fifth round. With 25 minutes of the match still to go, the second division team have got to come from behind and will be thinking back, maybe, to how close they came in the first half. Bobby Saxton's side have an even more difficult task now. Now he has pushed forward to join the others in the penalty area. That's him jumping. Garner's there, and he lost his footing as he was about to shoot, back in by Keeley. Brotherston's there, and Garner again. Well, you can see why he gets so many in the second division, because the sheer percentage of efforts he has on goal mean that some must go in. Brotherston got the flick on, Garner swiveled, shook off the attention of Nick Holmes, but again, the shot was very wide. About a minute left, we make it. Exactly coming in over Wallace. Garner Mills. Agbula. And the referee blows the signal that Southampton are the first team through to the FA Cup sixth round courtesy of David Armstrong's goal eight minutes into the second half made by the man who's having a great cut run personally Steve Moran Mick Mills was impeccable in defense as Southampton showed their first division authority and despite Blackman Rovers having some first half chances which caused some scares for Shortman his defense it was Southampton's measured performance in the second half on the back of an earlier Shilton save that meant that Blackburn go back to their dressing room a disappointed second division side. Didn't quite have enough on the night, I think they will agree, despite giving it everything as you expected. And Southampton march down the corridor to their dressing room at the far end and wonder who they'll get in the quarter-finals. <laughs>